Start by making sure that you've added Camel Wrestler as a dependency to your project. This allows Camel to pull in the Wrestlet framework which is going to drive your REST service. We start by adding a REST configuration definition to your Root Builder class. Then, in your REST configuration, we need to tell Camel which component we're going to use. And here we've already chosen to use Wrestlet, so I tell Camel to use the Wrestlet component. Then we just need to tell Camel that we want to run that service on localhost and port of our choice. Here I'm choosing 8080. Now we need to start defining our REST service. We give REST and then the path where the service is going to be found. Then we start to define our operations on the service. My API just has one operation, an HTTP GET operation, and when that's invoked, I want to return a certain string to the user, a list of people. Here, when the service is invoked using HTTP GET, it will return this string back to the caller. And underneath it all, the RESTlet component is driving our REST API, and it's going to be hosted on port 8080. Now we can run the app. Our service has started on 8080, and you can see in the logs that our service has started here. Now I can test the API using simple curl command slash API slash people, which returns our string that we set up earlier. Here's our list of people, and this is what we told Camel to return.